I'm Genevieve. I am the co-founder of Fresh Starts Registry, the first and only platform for everything you need to begin again. We like to celebrate big, brave, bold choices from everything from divorce to starting a new job to moving to a new country. And I have something on my mind. So my sister, Olivia, also known as the Digital Yenta, tweeted something the other day um, about why we celebrate divorce. And somebody, very well-meaning, commented that divorce is very important, but it definitely shouldn't be glamorized. And I just don't think I agree with that. I believe that happy marriages don't end in divorce. It's kind of that simple. Happy marriages don't end in divorce. So you can't glamorize something that only pertains to unhappy marriages and unhappy people. If we're glamorizing divorce and then people are only getting divorced because it's glamorized, then <laughs> that wasn't a happy marriage. I don't believe that we shouldn't glamorize divorce. Divorce is one of the hardest experiences that you can go through. It's classified as one of the most stressful experiences people go through in their entire lives up there with death of a loved one, moving and starting a new job, I think. So I don't think there's any possible way to glamorize that. And what's the, what's the negative if we do, right? What's the negative if we glamorize divorce? If we stop attaching so much shame to divorce, if we start allowing people to realize that there is an option and that there is no award for a long and unhappy marriage. My point is, if we have to glamorize divorce on our way to making it not shameful, on our way to making people realize that if they need to leave an unhappy marriage, they can totally do so, and they shouldn't feel like a pariah, then let's glamorize it. Honestly, I'm here for it. Let's add some sparkles to it, bedazzle those divorce sashes, and let's go, because we are here because we're here to shift the cultural narrative and start celebrating big, bold, brave life decisions.